Ready, set, cook. Brought to you by HAP, a recipe for wellness. Time for Ready, Set, Cook. Back to school season is here, and we have some healthy breakfast ideas for your kids. Christy Zabrowski from HAP and Junior Chef Delaney Jackson are here to tell us a little bit more about what HAP is doing for childhood obesity. I want to start with you, Christy. Can you give me a little bit of a brief overview of how HAP is doing something with that? Yes, we have this amazing program called Ready, Set, Cook, and it gets kids like Delaney here involved in the cooking process and gives them tools to make better decisions. All right, so Delaney, you are going to high school in the fall, yes. and you are, it's, it's an earlier time start, right. breakfast is a little bit more rushed in the morning. Give me some uh, tips, Christy, if you want to chime in what we're making this morning to help Delaney in the morning to get ready a little bit quicker and give her something healthy and a good start to school in the morning. Yeah, so we're making this kale scrambled egg dish. Okay. You've made scrambled eggs before, right, Delaney? Yes. Okay, so we're just kicking it up a notch here by adding in some vegetables. So we'll get started by adding in a little bit of butter to the pan. Okay. Okay. And that's organic butter, of course. Can you use something like a coconut oil or not in this case? No, you certainly could. Okay. Whatever kind of cooking fat that you prefer. Okay. As long as it's a healthier option. All right. Okay, so once we have that added in, Delaney, now we'll add in our chopped kale. Oh, okay. So kale is a powerhouse of nutrition. Um, adds in a lot of good fiber and protein, too, from, okay. from a plant. All right, and then normally how many eggs Stir? would you say? So it just depends on how many people you're cooking for. All right. So just Delaney here, we're going to use two eggs. Okay. So she's going to toss this together with the butter just until the kale is nice and green and tender. All right. Just like so. Now, if we want to kind of amp it up a little bit and add just a little bit more, kind of neutralize the kale a little bit, we can add in just a little bit of chili sauce to give it a little, a little kick bit of a there. spice. And then now we can add in our eggs. Okay. All right, so while we're doing that, talk to me a little bit about what is this 5210? I've heard it. You guys are pretty proud to talk about it and represent it. What does that really mean, though, to someone at home? So the American Academy of Pediatrics has a set of guidelines, and it's called 5210. Okay. And it gives kids the tools they need to uh, battle childhood obesity. So we're looking at the five being five servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. Okay. Two hours of screen time or less, one hour of physical activity, and then zero added um, sugar beverages. Okay, so that's a good guideline to follow, 5210. All right, yes. so now the eggs are, you're doing a great job, Delaney, with the eggs and the kale. What else are we going to add here, or if it's, is it so, done like that? Once the eggs are cooked, what we can do from here is either serve it just as is, mm -hmm. if you were going to sit down and have it before school, but if you wanted to take it a little bit further than that and kind of prep ahead for the week, you could take this kale scrambled egg, put it in a whole wheat tortilla, mm -hmm. wrap it up. You could add a little bit of our additional toppings here, some pico salsa or cheese. Mm -hmm. Wrap those up, put them in the refrigerator, and now you have breakfast all set and ready to go, <laughs> so that way you don't have to rush in the morning heading to school. Yes. That's great. I mean, meal prep is such a way to go, especially when you're getting back to school and trying to get back into your routine. So, Delaney, real quickly, I want to ask you, it says here your favorite healthy food is grilled romaine. Yes. What? How did you come to like that, and how do you cook that? Well, we cook it all the time at home. Oh, that's good. And, um... You put olive oil on it yeah. and seasoning, and then you just grill it on the grill. Well, good for you. Well, thank you coming, for coming in this morning and thank sharing you your recipes with us. And remember, 5210, but uh, we'll put this recipe on our website, which is fox2detroit.com. Back over to you guys.